Hey everybody, it's Blue Toad and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda, A Link to the Past. So now that we have the flippers, the power brace, no, the power gauntlet, and a few other things, like an upgraded shield, now, let's take a look around and go into this whirlpool right here if I can please, which takes us up to Northern Hyrule. Right over here next to the forest, so. I believe there's also another whirlpool that we can take somewhere. Uh, but also, I think I want to head back to the f the lake quickly. Because there's something we can do if we go up here. I'm pretty sure. We could also do this later at a, at a very specific time, but I think now is probably the better time to do it. So let's swim up all the way here. There's a few places to get out of the water if you need to. But if we go... All the way up here. All the way. All the way. Right under this bridge here. There's a guy sleeping underneath it. Yo, Link. You seem to be in a heap of trouble. But this is all I can give you. And he gives us another magic bottle. So we can store another fairy or possibly a potion or something. Anyway, let's get back in the water. And let's go back to Northern Hyrule now since we need to do some stuff there. Which I'm not sure if I want to teleport using the the whirlpool system or if I want to just swim or get out of the water and all that. Uh, but anyway. I can't remember where the other whirlpool is. That teleports us around. There's also a piece of heart that we, that we can't reach, so. And there's a shop over here. This is just north of the lake area, so. There's that shop there. There's also another one of the houses that gives you hints on where to go if you don't remember where you need to go. Right down here. Another fortune teller. Uh, but I think that's everything that we need to worry about down here, so let's head up north again. Just gonna go right through all of you. Right past everything here. Okay, so... Ah, running away. If we... Go up this way... I believe there's a wall pull up here. Where does this take us? Because I can't remember. If I can get in it. It's... Oh, it's Southern Hi Hyrule. I forgot that one existed. Okay. So that's how that works. You go from Southern Hyrule to Northern Hyrule. Okay, cool. So, now let's head to the graveyard over here. Which, there are also some stronger enemies around, apparently. If you push some of the graves around... Hang on. Just gonna stun you so I can take you out properly. If we push some of the graves around... Some of them will have just nothing in them. But some of them will actually have pose inside that will come out. I believe some of these uh, graves also have some rupees you can get from them, but it's not really necessary. This grave over here, however, we have to have the power gauntlet to get through. And if we push it open and fall in, this takes us back to somewhere we've been before. This room, which was part of the escape path that we took out of Hyrule Castle. So now we can blow up this wall here and go in and get these treasure chests back here, which has 300 rupees and some bombs and arrows, so... It's not required, but it's quite helpful. Especially if you need to get the flippers, which we paid 500 rupees for. But yeah, that's everything in here. So now let's get out of here again. Okay. We're so much better than we were last time we came through here. Pull that open. Just dodge everything. Wow, we had three hearts last time we came through here. Hello guys, how are you doing? If you defeat the wizard, the soldiers may regain their sanity. Go, seek the pendants. You should follow the marks the elder made on your map when you explore. If you don't know what to do next, you can also visit a fortune teller. Thanks for the hints, I guess. Okay, there's also this rock over here that I don't think has anything important for us. No, cool. Now... Where to go exactly? 
I guess over here. Knock that open. Because underneath it has a hole for us to go into. And a treasure chest. Another piece of heart. Wow. That one's a very random one to find. But... Yeah, so very, very easy to miss that one. Just make sure... Just, just, yeah, get it. Get that one. Um, now... I think I've done everything else I wanted to look at while we were here. So let's head up more. The main thing I wanted to do was the, um... The graveyard thing to check that out. Uh, all the way up here, though, are some lumberjacks working on this tree. Yo, Link, a mysterious fog has recently fallen over the forest. You have to be careful. Maybe it's nothing, but this tree feels kind of strange as we cut it. Thanks for all the stuff. House of Lumberjacks. Bumpkin and... A Bumpkin and B Bumpkin. Okay. The house just has nothing that important in it. Just some hearts. Uh, there's also a cave behind the house. But I don't think it's important to us right now. There is, however, a piece of heart up there that we can't get, so... I'll have to come back to this later and try to get that. Um... There's also access to the forest over here, to the left. So, we can do that if we want to. There's also this room up here that we can go into. Which looks very familiar to us. For 100 rupees, I'll let you open the one chest and keep the treasure inside. Okay, more gambling. Oh my goodness, I just wasted 100 rupees for one rupee. I probably shouldn't do that. You can get good rewards there if you get good luck, but also... Probably not gonna have good luck. But hey, look, it's the Master Sword. This is it, the Master Sword. Nope, this can't be it. Too bad. So there's just a, a bunch of fake Master Swords just around the forest that you can find, which is funny. I don't know why they did that, but I guess it's something. Uh, but anyway, now, let's go down south some more. Because we need to go up the mountain. Which we can do now. Ow. Danger, do not enter Death Mountain without the king's permission. Well, the king's dead, so I'm just going to go this way. And go in here. Okay. We're in. Can't leave now. And now we just need to get through here. Which isn't terribly hard to navigate. I don't know who you are, but if you are going up the mountain... Will you take me with you? I lost my lamp, so... Sure, just follow me. I'll take you exactly where we need to go. Okay, uh... Watch your step. There are holes in the ground. Could you turn right here? Ah, uh, young man, are you also going to death... Uh, to the mountain to look for the golden power? Just ahead is my... is a mountain full of monsters. Many people have vanished in this mountain while looking for the golden power. I don't want to steer you wrong, so please don't get too involved. In such a mad quest. Okay. Just keep going. I'll turn right here. You know, I have a granddaughter who is your age. The king took her to the castle and she never returned. Kidnapping those maidens must be part of the wizard's plot. I'm sure he is trying to somehow use the power of the descendants of the wise men. And out of the cave we go. Also, there's these enemies here which are annoying because they can't really be taken out. The missing maidens are still alive somewhere. I believe that a hero will rescue them. I wait for that day. Uh... These are dangerous times. I talk too much. Anyway, thank you for your kindness to an old man like me. Uh, I wanted to give you... This. If you wander into a magical transporter, gaze into this mirror. He gave you the magic mirror. This mirror is blue, clear and beautiful. You feel like it's going to absorb you into another world. But it doesn't do anything, so... That, that's all we can do with it. The wizard has deceived the king, and now he is trying to open the way to the dark world. To complete your quest, you will need the moon pearl, which is in the tower top, on top of the mountain. All I can do for you now is to comfort your weariness. Come back anytime. Oh, and he heals us. That's very nice of him. That's very nice of him. Wow. Uh, anyway, we can also go through these tunnels here, which is, isn't that 
important to us, but it, it takes us up a little bit further up the mountain without having to worry about the boulders that are just around. Because we could just walk up here from down where his house is, which is down here, I believe. Yeah, right over here. This is where he, we went in, so. But these boulders falling down the mountain will hurt you if they touch you, so... It can, can be better to just take the the cave system a little bit. Oh, but it doesn't, doesn't take you all the way, so... This cave leads, leads back to the... To the... Leads the, to the path back to Kekarika Village. So this, that takes us back down the mountain if we want to do that. But right now, I just want to head up here. And take a look around. There's a cave down there that I might want to go into. There's also a cave down there that I might want to go into. There's a lot of caves. There's also a piece of heart there. And also a teleporter here. Let's, uh, let's step on onto, onto it. We're now in a very different place, and we've turned into a rabbit. Oh, who are you, Mr. Bunny? This world is like the real world, but evil is, has twisted it. The golden power is what changed your shape to reflect what is in your heart and mind. I am always changing my mind, so I turned into that a bowl. But if you have a bowl called the Moon Pearl, you can keep your original shape here. What do you want? Do you have something to say to me, silly rabbit? I came here to get the power of the of gold, but now I'm a freak and I can't go back to the real world. If only I had the moon pearl from the tower of Hera, I could go back to my original shape. I've got good reason to be stressed out, so back off. Shoo shoo. So we're kind of stuck here. I believe we can actually go down the mountain a little bit and there's a fairy fountain for us. But it's, it's a very out of the way to go get. We also can't use our weapons in here. I think we can still use items though. So there we go, that's the fairy fountain there. I think we can probably still dash as well. No we can't, we have to walk around normally. That's unfortunate. I have to walk all the way back up here. Now, let's go over here. Also, in this world, this area is open, whereas in the other world that we were just in, this was a, a, a mountain with a cave in it. So, um, let's go ahead and open up our items and bring out the magic mirror. And if we use the magic mirror, we get teleported back to the normal world, back on top of where we were in the dark, with the, the other world. So that means we can get up here and look around. Ow. Pain. Uh, but also, I believe... Actually, no, I'm not sure if I can do this. Maybe I can? I can. Okay, Book of Medora. Because we can read this tablet. Hold up the Master Sword and you'll get the Magic of Ether. Well, that's a shame. <laughs> Don't have the Master Sword. You can also walk into the uh, sparkles that you leave whenever you leave the other world to go back. So... But anyway, let's go up here into the Tower of Hera. Which is our third dungeon. Let's look around and see what we can find. There's a red slash pink Stalfos, which is, throws bones enough. Ah, which throws bones at us. I can't say us for some reason. It throws bones at us if we try to attack it. So it does actually try to attack back. But when we have that key now as well, which is good. Let's head back up. These switches that we hit will change the positions of the blocks, allowing us to get around. We can also use the boomerang if we need to, to hit them from a distance. Link, it is I, Sahasrala, the Elder. I have some advice. In the dungeons, you can gaze into the magic mirror to return to entrance at any time. Do not forget this. What it's saying is actually quite helpful to us. Because if we use the magic mirror, it takes us back to the entrance. We can do this anywhere in the dungeon, and it'll just still work, so... I just want to take you out if I can, because you're going to throw fireballs out everywhere. Just like the other one on the other side. Anyway, we've got the map already, so let's just take a look at that. It's, uh, it's a fairly tall place, but it's only one or a few blocks of rooms. 
Also, I forgot to actually explain what these things are. They're like a hole that takes you to the floor below. Not that we can really use these ones, so... Since there's nothing above them to jump into. Oh, this is one of these rooms. I should have been more careful when walking in, because if you stand in the doorway... With the upgraded shield, they actually can't hit you. Oh, I think... No, I needed that. But also, I can probably just stand here and keep slashing. And be fine, probably. Hopefully. Ow. I think it's mostly because if you're staying in the doorway, you're slightly inside of the door. So it can't hurt you. Also, I should be careful because I'm gonna die. I think I've got an empty bottle somehow. Hang on, I keep pressing the wrong button. Yeah, I have an empty bottle without a fairy in it, so I should have grabbed a fairy at some point. That's fine. I can still do that at some point. Now, can I have a... Some hearts or something, please? Nope, okay. I should be fine. For a little bit, at least. Um, let me... Get rid of you. Get rid of you. Oh my goodness, these amazing shots! What is happening? Okay. No, don't touch me! Don't touch me, please. I'm just trying to shoot you with my arrows. Okay, good. That's all of them. I would really love to have... I keep pressing the wrong button. I'd really love to have some hearts right now because the beeping is getting annoying. Uh, but anyway, let's light up all these torches because for doing that, it spawns a chest in. And we already have the big key. Cool. That, that's, that was quick. Now we just need to go into the rest of the dungeon to do everything. Basically. Also, the boomerang can just be thrown so far now. Since we upgraded it. Okay. Is this open? Yes, it is. Let's, uh, let's head upstairs. Oh, and these enemies. If you hit them with your sword, they bounce you back as well as them bouncing back. Which can be a little bit annoying. But we can knock them off into the... The holes here. If a hole has that... Pattern on it, it means you can actually jump into it. And it'll take you to the floor below. Which is good to know. Because it means you can fall into the holes and be okay. It just means you have to walk again. Back to where you're supposed to be. Man, I could really use... A... Uh, some health right now. Uh, anyway. Another interesting thing about this place, with the whole switches and all that, is that currently we can't get to the... Uh, past the block. Well, we can get past the block there. Oh my goodness, what is wrong with me? <laughs> I fell in the hole. It's fine. So we, we need to keep track of which switch is what way. Because... If we go over here... So we can't get past here, and we can't reach the other one. But if we hit, hit that switch, it actually swaps the holes around, allowing us to actually get through. Which means that we don't have to worry too much about which switch is what way, because we, there's usually a way to get through anyway. We need the big key to get through that door there. But yeah, there's just a lot of switches that switch things around. Uh, which allows us to get through, depending on which uh, the red and blue switches is hit. Which is quite useful. Anyway. I really want some health right now. Um, let's do this, maybe. Got that one. We can also shoot through the partial walls there. I really don't like not having much health. But it's fine because I have a fairy, so... Come on, please. Please. Thank you. That was not what I was really needing. Okay. I think maybe... Nope. Nope. Okay, what got one heart, but I lost a heart before. Compass! Shows where the dungeon master is, which is obviously at the top of the tower, because where else would it be? Very helpful item. Please... Thank you. Still no hearts. What is this? I just need one heart, probably. And the beeping will go away. Nope, now I need two hearts. Making it worse, and all that. 
I can also see the big chest is there, but we can't reach it because of the panels on the floor stopping us from getting to it. How am I still low on health? <laughs> How? Uh, but now... Let's hit that to move the things around. And I think... Now that we've done that, we actually want to fall... Oh my goodness, there's... All of these things here. The red one's got more health. Because usually the enemies go from... Uh, green to blue to red. To show what difficulty they are. Oh my goodness, how much health do you have? Also, that arrow didn't work on you. That took a while. Anyway, let's fall down this hole here. Because I believe this is actually going to drop us above those switches there, which allows us to get... The dungeon item. You found the moon pearl. This protects the hero from the changing effects of the golden power. So now if we go back into the other world, outside of this place, we won't get transformed into a bunny anymore. Which means we can still use our weapons and items there. Uh, but now... I believe what I want to do is actually fall into this hole here. Which falls into that hole there. Which falls into that hole there. Which falls into that hole there. Taking us all the way to these fairies down here. You can do this with the other side as well. Anyway, let's take that fairy and keep that in a bottle. And get healed finally. And there's also the teleporters that take us back up. So that's actually very helpful. Uh, there's also all of these pots here which are full of hearts. It, it, all of them. Uh, but anyway, let's go up here now. To the boss. Which I believe... I can't remember what this is actually called. I believe the boss of the... Uh, the desert was Moldorm, and I don't think this is Moldorm. <laughs> um, I think we just need to go in with our sword. Also, that hole in the middle will take you down a long way, so be careful of that. Because it's, it's l a lot like the fairy's hole. Oh my goodness. I'm somehow still on here. I think if the if you fall off any edge here, the boss's health goes back up. Possibly. We just need to hit its tail to do damage. And it gets faster the more health we take out until it's done. But there we go. Piece of heart container. And the pendant of wisdom. With this, you have collected all the three pendants. Go now to the Master Sword, or Lost Woods, to get the Master Sword. So there we go. We're doing quite well for ourselves now. Uh, there's also a few other areas up here that we could explore, but they have some strong enemies that I probably want to not deal with right now. So let's go down here, and I might check some of these caves here, because I believe we can actually do something with these caves. Let me jump down here, maybe? I think that's probably the wrong move, actually. Yeah, I think that's the wrong move. I think I made a horrible mistake by doing that. Unless I didn't. Hang on. Hang on. Let me check this. Let me not doubt myself. There's a way to go up here. So let's do that. And there's a piece of heart. Yep, that's probably the right way then. Let's grab that. Very nice. Link in his eyes, the Hasrala. You must somehow make your way to the top of Spectacle Rock, which we've already done. From there, you can reach the Tower of Hera on top of Death Mountain, which we've already done. But anyway, let's fall down here now. And this is actually a fairy fountain right before the dungeon, so... Would've been helpful if I did that earlier. Ah, uh, but anyway, let's head down now. Also, the boss that we fought was a bigger version of those things. Which is pretty cool. Ah, uh, but anyway, that's all that done now, I believe. There was that other... The other cave that I saw, though. And I want to know what that's about. If that's anything at all. Please. Also, if we go into Spectacle Rock, it's the other side of the room with the piece of heart in it. So you can get to the Fairy Fountain that way. Okay, let's see. Where is this... Oh, that's just a ledge. Okay, cool. I'm glad that I... It's fine. I'm fine. Anyway, let's go out of this place now, since we need to go down the cave out of Death Mountain. I think it's interesting that they have a, a separate cave 
for getting in and out of Death Mountain. It's pretty cool. Okay. Just need to be careful not to fall in any of the holes. And out we go. So here we are. Back out again. And we just need to go into the forest. And get the Master Sword. Da -da -ba -da, ba -da -ba -da -ba -ba -da. And this game is pretty good for wh what it is. It's just, I, I, I really like this game. Oh, hello. Hello. Leave me alone, please. Please. No, 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 no. Okay, we're good. Once it's off screen, it doesn't follow us, so. Okay. Let's make our way through here. There's a few ways we can probably take to get to where we need to go. Ah, uh, but this is the main way. So let's head up here. To the sacred grove. There's also some text here that we could read. Using the Book of Medora. The hero's triumph on cat Catalysm's are Eve. Wins three symbols of virtue. The master sword will he will then retrieve, keeping the knight's line true. Let's pick it up. Suddenly, Sahasrallah's contacts you telepathically. Link, it is extraordinary that you won the Master Sword that makes evil retreat. With this shining sword, I believe you can deflect... Ah, uh, the wizard's evil powers. The destiny of this land is in your hands. Please, Link. Okay. Cool, I can do this. Link, help! The soldiers are coming to set the to Sanctuary! Aye! And, uh, that's not good, because that's Zelda. Whoop, uh, er, 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 er. He's gonna get me! I'm gonna go down this way. Can't get me if I get out of the forest. This also leads back to, uh, Kakariko. And if we have full health with the Master Sword, since... Hang on, just take it, let me take a second. Now that we have the Master Sword, we do more damage, and at full health we do a Sword Beam. With every slash we do. And we're to Lost Woods. So the Master Sword is going to be very helpful to us. Doing more damage and Sword Beam. Only at full health though. So we need to not take any hits for the rest of the game now. Not, not, not really. Uh, but anyway, let's head over to the Sanctuary now very quickly to see how Zelda's doing. And if we go all the way up here... So it's gone. Link, you're the second. You were second too late. I have failed, Zelda. The soldiers have abducted her. They have taken her to the castle. You must find her before the wizard works his magic. Please, you are our only hope. And he dies. So we have to go to Hyrule Castle now. And that's about how it goes. I'm not sure which the what the fastest way to Hyrule Castle is possible. No, I don't. I don't think this is. No, 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 no. No, no, no. I need to go this way, the long way around. Go, 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 go. Going super fast, as fast as I can. Just need to run off the edge there. I think we've done everything we can possibly do right now, if I'm not mistaken. Which I could quite easily believe me to be mistaken, so. Okay. This is a long way to go. It might have been actually faster to go the other way around the world. But this is fine. Okay, we've made it. Also, there's some stronger guards here, but we can also just go straight into the castle. Because the gate's not in the way anymore. But here we are. 
But that is it for now. So thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time.